Rugby's least favourite son, Spaceman 3, have got a new single out called Hypnotise on Fire Records. They've also recently finished an extensive European tour to help promote their last album, Playing With Fire. We've been at a flavour of the month for the last year type thing, but uh, you know, we've basically been doing the same music for seven years, so uh, it, it's, uh, we haven't changed to, to, um, to become fashionable or, or part of some a movement or something. So. No, I don't think so. I think we take most of it with a pinch of salt. I mean, we get some very good press, but we get some very bad press as well. Some people really don't like the band, so... I think we've always done what we've wanted to do regardless of the press. Yeah, I think people tend to be uh, really sort of uh, nosy about your personal life and stuff, you know, if you're in the public eye, so I mean, it's obviously a disadvantage, but it hasn't really affected us too much, so... Well, do you like having to explain what, not necessarily what the music is about, but do you like having to explain about yourselves then, or do you find it a pain? Uh, it's a pain. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not always relevant to the music either. I think uh, the, there's certain facts about our background that people uh, bring up that's irrelevant to the music. Uh, the fact I went to public school. Uh, some people really like to um, kind of use that to uh, illustrate some point, I'm not sure what, but they uh, uh, really just, you know, people having precon preconceptions of, of what you should be like if you went to public school. You know, there's a downside to things like that, but it hasn't really affected us, you know. Jace, we both met to form the band at Art College. Uh, we both left school uh, after our O levels and uh, went to Art College to meet people to form bands and stuff. And uh, basically, you know, there wasn't there wasn't many people to form bands with, but we met each other type thing. Went from there. Is it like that you were doing estate agency? Yeah, I worked at estate agent for a year as well. Uh, yeah, we've all done some pretty strange jobs filling in, you know, meanwhile, just to uh, make enough money for equipment and stuff early on. And then when we started doing gigs, they used to cost us to do them. What's the worst that anybody's ever said about Spaceman 3 that you can remember? <laughs> the Emily Hughes one. Yeah. Someone, someone played our first album at... Uh, they played it the first time at 45 and they said it sounded quite good. They said it had Emily and Hughes doing the vocals. <laughs> they usually try to slag the band. They usually end up being the funny, the funny reviews. Yeah, they're usually the good ones. You know, often they say all the right things, you know, because what they think is an absolute insult to us is like, that's what we're trying to do, you know. And is there anything that you're really, really proud of about the band? Everything, you know. I think uh, I'm really proud that Mud Honey and Elvis Costello have picked one of our songs to, to you know, play live and stuff. Uh, I'm just really, you know, I think we, we, we're doing the music we set out to do, uh, and I think we do it uh, really well. Uh, I don't think we buy it. I think we do a really good job. So I'm well happy with it. You know, I think uh, we've always produced ourselves and. Uh, you know, we've always been, we've always concentrated on writing our own material, and uh, you know, we've obviously learned by our own mistakes. But it's really been worth it. We've really enjoyed it. Yeah. I think you know, your question would be changed anything. I think if we had to, uh, you know, if we had to uh, give them the chance, I think we'd do it the same again. You know, we, we had a good time doing it.
the drugs questions are always, you know, a bit iffy, you know, it's, uh, a lot of people have got very strange preconceptions about people who take drugs. Uh, I mean, these people I'm talking about have uh, never even taken drugs, and yet they have very strong ideas about what people, uh, people who take drugs, what they do, and how they live their lives, and stuff like that. So it's, it's uh, I'm not sure it, uh, it's ever done us any good uh, talking about drugs, but we've always been honest about it. And uh, I think there's a lot of bands who have found uh, different drugs to be uh, quite a large inspiration. You don't actually admit to it. I think that's. That's really, really a shame, you know, for whatever reasons, you know.